In our last episode, we review a portable light meter. Today, we will review another one which is more premium and more expensive. This is the Dumo meter. Dumo is a startup founded by an ex-employee of Ziyun, which is a gimbal manufacturer. This product was launched several months ago and it was sold out quickly. It received a lot of positive feedbacks from the film photographer community. Overall, it looks quite like the Fortlander VC meter, but it costs only half the price of the Fortlander. Let's see if it's worth the price. This one is in silver, you can also get it in black. It comes with some screws and two screwdrivers, which are mainly used for the mounting bracket on the bottom. The position of the bracket should be in the middle or on the right, depending on what camera you use. But first of all, I need to open the battery compartment. What I need is a CR1632 battery. The end node side should face outward. I would like to put the bracket in the middle. It will fit most of my cameras. In the front is a light sensor. The angle of view is approximately 45 degrees. On top of the meter, there are two dials. The right one represents shutter speed, which ranges from 1 second to 1 2000 second. And the left dial represents aperture, ranging from f1 to f22. In the middle of the aperture dial is the ISO setting. What you need to do is to use this little pin on top of the dial. You can move it around to the ISO you want. It goes from 25 to 6400. This is the LED display showing you the exposure reading. The minus sign indicates that the reading is underexposed, while the plus sign means overexposed. Of course, the green light indicates an accurate exposure. Sometimes you get both the green light and the minus sign, which means the reading being slightly underexposed. Likewise, it means being slightly overexposed if you see the green light and the plus sign simultaneously. So right now, I can take the reading from the central mark, which is f4 and 1 60 seconds. But there are also alternative readings with the same exposure, for example, f5.6 and 30 or f2.8 and 1.25. If you finish all your shooting, you don't need to take the battery out since if you enter sleep mode automatically if you leave it for 10 seconds. You may press this button to resume. Battery life is about 60 hours for non-stop use or around 2 months if you use it regularly. You can check the battery status by long pressing the button for 5 seconds. Now the green light flashes, meaning it has, a, it has at least 30% battery left. If the plus and minus signs flash at the same time, it means it has less than 30% battery. If only the minus sign flashes, it means there's only less than 10%. When you need to replace battery, you should use this screwdriver to lever it out. Overall, it's not much different from other light meters in terms of functionality, but it's very portable and it got slick design. It's looking good with your old film cameras. The price is certainly not cheap, but it is reasonable in comparison with the Fortlander VC meter. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.